Today we got our hands on the brand new Zhiyun Smooth 5, a lightweight and strong gimbal for smartphones that has magnets. Oh, 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 watch this. And now we have lights. Now we have lights. So full disclaimer, this video is sponsored by Zhiyun, but all my opinions about the Smooth 5 are completely my own. And really the goal for this video is to give you as much information as possible to help you decide whether or not you should get the Smooth 5. And TLDR, it's really, really good. Uh, all right, so this is the Zhiyun Smooth 5, a really sleek looking gimbal for smartphones. Compared to the Zhiyun Smooth 4, the Smooth 5 is smaller, it's stronger, and just the overall user experience is vastly improved. And not to mention, you can attach magnetic accessories like this LED light on the gimbal, top or the bottom. How cool is that? Like that alone is like my favorite feature of the Smooth 5. I mean, of course it's helpful to light up your face if you're vlogging or filming live events like at trade shows or weddings, but magnets. In addition to this really cool light, you also get these magnetic filters that you can attach to the light and simulate colored gels. Here are the different flavors of magnetic filters. This one is a uh, banana hammock yellow. Uh, this one is spicy red tuna yellow. Uh, this one is orange, you glad I didn't say yellow. And of course you have blue. And then to attach the filters, super easy to simply snap and you're done. Uh, I'll be honest, I'm not sure how often I'd use these colored filters. Like I'm not sure how it would counterbalance certain color temperatures in an environment. I mean, I'd probably use them in a creative way, like say that I'm filming a music video. But in terms of like just normal filmmaking, I, I don't know if I'd use these colored filters. They're cool though, because you know, magnets, but not sure if I'll use them that often. Now, do you need a gimbal for mobile filmmaking? No, of course not. In fact, I think a lot of smartphones have really good stabilization built within the camera already. And so I don't really think it's necessary to have a gimbal, but it does make it easier to get those smooth shots if you have a gimbal. Another cool thing about the Smooth 5 is that it can also take panoramic photos. You just gotta go into panoramic mode, which is right over there. And then once you've set your gimbal in position, you just press the start button and away it goes. Look at that, do your thing. Nice. Uh, gotta say, the Smooth 5 is a solid, solid performer. I mean, just right now I'm in lock mode and so it's keeping my position in place, which is cool. I'm gonna cycle through the different gimbal modes real quick. Uh, right now this is follow mode. Yep, very nice. Next one is, uh, what is this, POV mode. So if you just move it this way, you can get some really cool Dutch angle shots, which I don't really use that often, to be honest. And then I uh, hear you have vertigo mode, and so you can do those vertigo shots, which uh, actually make me really sick. And then it'll rotate 
uh, your phone real smoothly. And so yeah, that's POV mode. And then now in pan follow mode, which locks the tilting axis where you can move the gimbal left and right. Uh, all right, so now we are recording. Hi, so we're filming with my iPhone 13 mini because I wanna show you something really, really cool. So other than the magnetic LED light that you can attach onto the Smooth 5, my next favorite feature of the gimbal is a smart active follow. It's really, really cool. So when you open up the ZY Cami app, all you have to do is draw a box around whatever object or subject you want the gimbal to follow. So for example, I'm gonna draw a box around my face, just like so. And now the gimbal will actively follow my face wherever I go. It's so, so cool. All right, let's go ahead and give you a quick tour of the Zhiyun Smooth 5. In the back panel is where you control pretty much everything. Here you have your joystick that's pretty similar to most of Zhiyun's gimbals. You move the joystick up and it'll tilt your phone up, tilt down, and it'll bring the gimbal down. You can move left to right. And uh, yeah, it's very, very smooth. You can actually control the joystick speed within the app itself, which is pretty awesome. But there you go, that's the joystick. Here you have your menu button. So if you press and hold, that'll open up the menu within the app where you can choose different gimbal modes and other settings. Right next to it is the directional pad and the light button. If you press and hold on the light button, it'll turn on the LED light of the gimbal. And then of course to turn it off, you just press and hold and it'll turn off. And to control the intensity of the light, you just take this wheel and rotate it left if you want to dim it down or rotate it right if you want to increase the intensity. Also with the directional pad, you can navigate through the menu. Next to the joystick is the mode button. And if you just keep pressing the mode button, it'll cycle through the different gimbal modes like lock, pan follow, follow mode, etc., etc. And then below that is the record button to start and stop recording. Now, on the side of the gimbal is a control wheel which has two functions to control the zoom and to control the focus of your smartphone's camera it's pretty awesome let's go ahead and try that out right now so right now we are going to do uh, the zoom test i'm going to zoom in oh very cool look at that see how far i can zoom in yeah i probably wouldn't zoom in that much uh, on a smartphone, but if you want to, you totally can. Oh, that's so cool. And now I'm gonna press the red button to control the focus. All right, so now you see the camera is in focus and I'm gonna move the control wheel to focus in the background. Oop, other way. There we go, background's in focus. And let's focus back onto the camera. Oh, very nice. So yeah, just really cool features that you can do on a gimbal and a smartphone, love it. And then if you wanna go back to control the zoom, you press the red button again and then now you can control the zoom. Very nice. So setting up your phone on the Smooth 5 is like ridiculously easy. It has this really cool snap and go design where you just push the tilt and roll axis just like so. And the only locking mechanism is the, the pan axis which you can unlock with this switch right over here. There you go. I'm gonna open up the, uh, the small tripod legs and there you go. I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully you can see that. And then of course you gotta put your smartphone in. I'm gonna put my iPhone 13 mini so it's small enough that it will absolutely support it. But the Smooth 5 can support heavier smartphones like the iPhone 13 Pro Max, which is really cool. And so now you see it's kind of just limp and the only thing that you have to balance out is the, is the roll axis. And it doesn't have to be perfect at all. Like I just pushed it maybe about uh, an inch. So yeah, so it's kind of like that. I'm even gonna just dangle it and I'm gonna turn on the gimbal. And then once I turn it on, the Smooth 5 will figure out everything else to balance your smartphone. Where's the on button? Oh yeah, it's right over here. Let's press and hold. And there you go. Oh, and uh, I forgot to mention, you can also use your phone in portrait mode as well. And so if you wanna film like vertical video for TikTok, IG Reels, then uh, all you have to do is make sure that the phone holder is set up so that you can film vertically. Let's go ahead, put your phone back on. And here's a phone holder. And then all you have to do is just swivel, just like so. Put your phone on just like that. And uh, just like before, just make sure that the roll axis is uh, somewhat balancing your phone. That's about right, doesn't have to be perfect. Turn it on. And three, two, one, and boom, look at that. Now you can film smooth looking vertical video. And then to pack away your gimbal is super easy. Just make sure to turn off your gimbal first. Let's press and hold. And uh, yep, we are off. Take off your phone, put it in a safe place so you don't scratch it. Unlock the roll axis, push it up, snap it into place. And after that, you just press the locking mechanism over there, turn it around till it snaps, and you are good to go. You can even take off the smaller tripod if you wanna pack the Smooth 5 in a smaller camera bag. But yeah, that's the Smooth 5. Pretty fast and easy to set up and take down. Uh, so overall, I think the Smooth 5 is one of the best smartphone gimbals that I've ever used. And it honestly works really smoothly regardless of what size phone you have. I love that everything that you can control is right in front of the gimbal, just easy one-hand operation. But by far, my favorite features about the Zoom 5 is the magnetic LED 
light and the active smart follow feature. It's just so cool. Makes it really easy to film some really awesome stuff with a smartphone. There are a few bugs with the Smooth 5 and I think that could be fixed with a firmware update. Like switching from zoom control to focus control is a little bit glitchy and doesn't respond as quickly as I'd like it. When I switch it to different gimbal modes, the, the Smooth 5 will go to a completely different gimbal mode for whatever reason. But other than that, I love the Smooth 5. I love how light it is. I love that it's smaller than the Smooth 4 and I love how powerful the motors are and you can use pretty much any smartphone you have. And if you're interested in mobile filmmaking or if you just want to step up your smartphone filmmaking game, then definitely check out the Zhiyun Smooth 5. And if you want to do so, then check the links down in the description below. Well, huge thanks to Zhiyun for sponsoring this video. Huge thanks to you for watching. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.